All right, so if you've downloaded Velta software 1.4.1, I believe is the newest version, um, you are able to change a few different things now in settings. So what I'm gonna do is show you here in settings some of the things that have changed. Now when you actually are looking at your see-through, right now I'm looking at the remote desktop software, you have a wheel calibration right here. So you can do a wheel encoder calibration. You also have the option to switch between 8, 10, 13, and 20 scans per inch. 20 will be the highest resolution you can get for your see-through. You also have the options here to change your frequency, depth range in nanoseconds, as well as your aspect ratio, so how tight or wide your viewing screen is. Here in the other set of settings for system of measurement, of course, you still have metric imperial. The big thing, too, is that you can change uh, the date and time. So that could go off if changing batteries and such in the see-through. We can also change the name of your project. So here in remote desktop software, I could say that this is test lab three and apply that. And that is going to be what my surveys are saved as. We also now have the auto stop feature. So when you're collecting, you can set your see-through to automatically stop grid collection at, uh, you know, three, four feet, whatever you're looking to have it automatically stop at to save time. You can also now automatically change these different processing filters that we have. So I'll show you what that looks like here on a grid collected scan. So one of the other features here in the Survey Explorer is you can see how many swaths you've run. So this is 42 swaths that I ran in this survey right here. Uh, and then this is 39 swaths that were run. Now these are just individual B scans. They, this was not, uh, this is a project folder that had 39 different collections that I did. This one right here is going to be a grid I collected, as you can see in the image, with 42 swaths. So we're going to open that right here. Now we can see all those different vertical and horizontal swaths we ran. You can also zoom in here on the screen and take a peek. If you want to click on each one of these, uh, you can also zoom in over here on your B scans. And then you can also use the arrow keys to slide through these different B scans. Now, some of the big, big things that we did change here in this new version of Velfa are going to be in your C scan, which is the 3D tomography here. Um, so what you can do is make that full screen. So let's merge that data here. We're going to slice down to about, looks like these rebar are about 3.7. So let's go down to four inches. There we go. And now we have a really good view here of that rebar mat. Uh, the two rebar mats, it actually looks like one rebar mat right here, second rebar mat right here, and they were kind of coming together right in the middle. So really interesting. But what we can also do now is independently change these color palettes. So let's say you want to look at... Perhaps Jet, this is one of my favorite new color palettes. Uh, you can play with the intensity here as well. I kind of like to keep it right in there. Uh, go around through all these different color palettes or back to grayscale if you prefer. Uh, same thing over here with your B scan. We can go through all the different color palettes. Now, one of the other things that we can change is going to be the migrated data or doing a Hilbert transform. Now let's do, first off, like you would with any survey, a hyperbola fit. I like these right here. So you can either right click on your remote desktop or push and hold with your finger on the see-through. Go to the hyperbola fit, it actually looks pretty good here. So you can see, right here that's going to update our survey to get a little more accurate depth here and you always want to do a hyperbola fit so now we're showing this rebar at about yeah 3.8 inches is what we're seeing here for 3.8 and we're looking good but we can change these color palettes as well if you right click or push and hold you can also go to these options here so we can look at migrated data. 
that's going to flip that around. These points right here are going to be our rebars. We can also turn on the Hilbert transform as well. Get very migrated data so that these rebars are going to show up independently here as well. And you can kind of see that through these B scans here. This one's very clear. And then you have the bottom of the slab right below there. And we can change through all of the different color palettes in these as well. See all those individual rebar there. All right. We can also go full screen here. And then switch even between our two antennas. So we've got the HH and then the VV here, the vertical antenna, the cross polarized antenna. And we're able to look through that data set, which gives us a little different view. If you're looking just for that rebar in this slab, the horizontal antennas would do a little better job here. You can also merge both antennas right here, which gives you then full coverage. And the reason for that is you can see this HH antenna is in the back of the see through, so it goes a little further. Or bring them all together with those two buttons there. We'll turn that off. Turn that off. Deep, shallow antenna. This rebar was up at about four inches. Here we go. And if you'd like, we have a bunch of different options in here as well. You can see the survey last modified, but mainly we can also then take images here. So what it's doing is taking still images every inch of our scan, and it's going to export those into a project folder on our computer. So you can use these still images. Now I kept my time window open pretty far, as you can see here. So we're getting a whole lot of really deep images um, that aren't doing us any good. That's why it would turn my nanosecond window down a little bit. And then now it's going to do the cross-polarized antenna, the vertical. And then it's going to do time slices here of all of them together. And that is the walkthrough on some of the new features here on the see-through. If you have any questions, give us a call at IDS North America. 720-512-0843.